Tina. I'm Ross. And today we're back with another cheese tasting video, one of our favorites. So we do have some new to us British cheeses, or at least variations that we haven't tasted before. So we're gonna be trying from Wensleydale Creamery, Mimosa Yorkshire Wensleydale. So we've tried some of their other Wensleydale, but we saw this Mimosa one and thought we should pick that one up. I think I found two of these in our grocery outlet and one in Trader Joe's. Second one we have from Trader Joe's is a strawberry white Stilton, something we've never tried. We tried it with apricot before, I think. And then lastly, we have a smoked cheddar on the end here. Sounds good. Yeah, so we're looking forward to trying these. So two fruity ones and one smoked cheddar. So let's go ahead and start off with our Mimosa Yorkshire Wensleydale. Let me see what it says here on the package. It says Yorkshire Wensleydale cheese with orange and champagne. Okay. And that's from which creamery? This is from Wensleydale Creamery. I think that that's is. the only one where I really know the creamery on it. Yeah, okay. so those are the ones. Remember Richard was saying, oh, you really need to try the ones from Wensleydale Creamery. Right. I'd never see them. And then all of a sudden they start popping up. We tried the cranberry and we tried, they had an onion one, a caramelized onion. But I thought maybe they had one more and it's, it's I've either forgotten or we didn't try another one. <laughs> I'll have to look through the videos. Okay. So let's go ahead and try this one. Okay, I'm sitting out a little bit, so they're getting a little bit sweaty. <laughs> it's a close up of it. Okay. So I'm just gonna try a little piece of it on its own. Mm. It does taste like mimosa. Yeah, you have little pieces of fruit in there, but there is a little bit of a champagne flavor. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. There's a nice sweetness to it. Yeah. That's good. Maybe I'll place it on one of these. We still have some of the, these are the Scottish oat cakes. Mm -hmm. Okay, we had some of those left over. All right, that's the plain. Part of my reach. Now, I know that sweet, sweeter cheeses are not one of your go-tos. They're not, yeah. In fact, I remember, I wish I could remember what all we tried because generally I don't care for the cranberry in cheeses, but I think that was actually my preference. Hmm. Well, last time we tried these from Wensleydale Creamery, I liked the, for the fruity ones, I liked the cranberry one. I feel like there, we tried another fruit. Maybe it was apricots. Now that I think about it, you know, I think it was, we've tried apricots in White Stilton. I think it was also apricots in the Wensleydale, and I, I preferred the cranberries. I like that little bit of tartness. Yeah, that's very good. I like that. Mm-hmm. I really like it with the, with the cracker. It's nice. Yeah, these are very neutral, so. Now, this is the first time you've ever had a mimosa flavored cheese. As far as I can remember, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, so next up we have the strawberry white Stilton from Trader Joe's. Not sure which creamer this came from. It did say it was a product of the UK. It was one I hadn't seen before. As mentioned, we've seen that white Stilton with the apricots, which we've gotten before, which was not one of my favorites. But I thought, well, I'll give strawberry a try because I do tend to like strawberries quite a bit. So we'll see how this is. It is a little darker in color than the other white stilt we got. Yeah, I thought I could kind of an unusual mm -hmm. look about it. Mm. I did smell a little strawberry. Pretty good. Yeah, I get a little of the strawberry flavor in it. Cheese itself is a little stronger than the Wensleydale. Mm-hmm. Different texture too. Yeah. This one's very crumbly to cut. Mm-hmm. That was 
Oh, softer, like I said, crumbly. I think the uh, the muscle one is maybe slightly sweeter. I think so. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Like it. It's good. So we tried two sweet cheeses. Two sweet fruity cheeses. Mm -hmm. Now, of the two, do you have a preference? I think I like the strawberry white Stilton. Would be my preference. Really? I think for the Wensleydale, I might prefer that cranberry. I've also tried one with lemon and honey that was good too. And I still wish we could find Wensleydale just on its own with, with nothing added to it. But I have not seen that in any of our stores yet. So, okay. how about you? I'm going for the mimosa. Oh, you like the mimosa? You like that sweeter flavor? Yeah. Uh, I could see having dinner one night and I like some dessert options. Yeah, and stick, I just have a little piece of <laughs> mimosa cheese. Yeah, has that nice sweetness to it. Really does taste like champagne, citrus. Yeah. yeah like in fact, when we were in Grocery Outlet today, they still had some of the mimosa Wensleydale. I noticed it kind of comes and goes, as typical for Grocery Outlet. Sometimes some of the other flavors were coming back, like cranberry came back for a bit, and then now the mimosa is back. But you just never know, it could be gone by next week. Now, was it cranberry cinnamon or just cranberry? It was just cranberry. Okay. Yeah. And when was the last time you saw the one that was lemon and honey? Do you recall that? That one, I know that one was not from Wensleydale Creamery. It was from another brand called Summerdale. And I, that's the one that we kept seeing most of the Wensleydales from Summerdale. And I'm not sure exactly. I think they might be an, an exporter. Okay. But, um, yeah. And that's also the brand where we tried the blueberries. I think was, we had Wensleydale blueberries. Yeah. Which that, I, I like that one, too. That was good. Yeah. So last one we have is a bit different. We have a smoked cheddar. It says a creamy cheese with a distinct bite and smooth finish. And it does say it's an aged English cheddar. It doesn't say how aged. Naturally smoked over oak chips. Hmm. And this one does say distributed by Summerdale International. It does say Somerset, product of the UK. So All right. we've tried many cheddars. Every time we go there, a lot of times they'll have a different cheddar from a different creamery. And I try to pick them all up because now I really like to have a uh, English cheddar in the fridge at all times. <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, it's hard to pull you away sometimes from the <laughs> island of cheese in the store. Yeah. No yeah, well, I, I like having that available. Slice it up, have it on a sandwich or whatever. Just yeah. by itself. I know for convenience we get the what we know here as sharp cheddar. Mm -hmm. We'll we'll get it pre-grated sometimes just for the convenience. You want to do something really quick. You have all that cheese grated. But even our sharp cheddar, I'm noticing as I'm having more English cheddar, it's not nearly as strong as, I'm trying to think what the equivalent might be over there. They have, they use, vintage I think is, is really aged. Mature and extra mature, I think that's what they might use, but I think even the mature, it's, that extra sharp is not as strong. I don't think. Okay. All right. So are you ready to try the smoked cheddar? Yes, I am. All right, here we mm. go. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's got the strong cheddar, it's got the little crystals in it. Mm -hmm. And then you get that smokiness on there too. Oh, that's good. That's good too. Yeah. I should slice more of that off. <laughs> it's very good. Have some on a cracker? Yes. So you approve. Mm -hmm. Flavor. The yeah, sharpness. Good. Hmm? Yeah, I love the the aged cheddars. Mmm. <laughs> Now, would you, if you had a smoked Gouda compared to the smoked cheese, a smoked cheddar versus a smoked Gouda, what would be your preference? My preference would probably be for the smoked cheddar. Really? It's got the stronger flavor behind it than a Gouda. Mm -hmm. What about you? I'll go with the, the cheddar as well. Yeah. 
That'd be like a good smoke gouda. Yeah. I do love those aged cheddars and smoke. That's something a little different. I wouldn't say smoked is always my go-to, but it is kind of nice. And I wonder how this would be on a sandwich and then put in the toaster oven or something, get it all melty. Yeah. Seems like that might be good. I can just picture that with some beef. Roast beef? Hmm. Well, you know, you're saying a sandwich. I mean, were you already having some kind of sandwich in mind? Oh, I was just thinking cheese on bread. Cheese on bread. <laughs> but maybe think like ham, just particular meat. I wasn't really thinking that. I was just thinking like melted on a piece of, you know, sourdough or something might be good. The cheese toasty. Yeah. I see. Yeah. Okay. So out of the three, do you have a favorite? Apples and oranges. You Apples know, and you, oranges? Okay. You, you have a savory and you have a too sweet. Mm -hmm. um, I'm still going to go with that. Mimosa. Okay. Yeah, I, I really like that. They were all, I thought they were all fine. Um, yeah, I rarely meet a cheese I don't like, but... Yeah, well, how about these sweet... You were talking about possibly a cheese <clears throat> toasty with a smoked cheddar. Mm-hmm. Is there something you would do with the two sweeter cheeses, the strawberry and the mimosa? I think they're nice just for eating. Yeah, I don't think I would put that on a sandwich or anything. I would prefer the more savory cheeses on a sandwich. Okay. Yeah. Because my, my go-to is more of a savory cheese than the ones with the fruit in them, but... As fruit goes, I've I've had a few that I like, and you know the strawberry Stilton is a nice one. Yeah, just a fleeting thought. Remember, some time ago, uh, was in one of our candy shops, uh, Seas Candy. Uh, one of the workers there was telling me, "Oh, if you want something really good, want to try something new, get a can of those frozen croissants and put a Seas Candy in the center." and then bake it hmm. and yeah so you have a chocolate filled croissant i was wondering if maybe you did something similar with putting some of the sweeter cheese yep, like maybe a, and, and then bake it have the hot yeah almost I or strawberry i haven't tried it but it might be interesting yeah cooking with ross <laughs> okay so let us know in the comments if you've tried any of these types of cheeses and if you haven't seen any of our other cheese videos i will leave a link to the playlist up here in the corner so if you like food reactions and food tastings be sure to give this video a thumbs up also subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you know we publish a new video and until next time bye bye bye